Though the technology didn't quite reach my parents soon enough to catch my sister's first moments, I've been staring down the lens of various camcorders since the day I was born. A baby of the 90s, as my grandmother marveled. Some of my more important childhood moments were dutifully captured on tape by my parents so that they could be remembered and appreciated long after my own memory faded. Most of these memories are not complete without my older sister, Laura. Ready? We're gonna, I'll just put part of this in. I'll pick okay. the best part, okay? Or none of it if it sucks. It'll probably suck. We'll see. S One, <laughs> two, ready? <laughs> Tell me what your shirt says. What does your shirt say? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> How do you like her? Lala. You love her? Good. <laughs> oh. Sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. Never had a chaperone, no sir. <laughs> I'm here to keep my eye on her. In our earliest tapes, our parents and grandparents often sit behind the camera, prompting us to recreate various cute activities we had no doubt executed by accident earlier, before they pushed the record button. Or they simply recorded for unnecessarily long gaps of time, catching memories deemed so unremarkable that we conditioned ourselves to hit the fast-forward button at the sight of them. Occasionally, however, a cute or particularly candid moment would make its way in. And in most cases, you can tell we didn't mind the attention all that much. Caring, sharing, sometimes, every little thing that we are wearing, often. Whatever my parents' reasoning, there the tapes are of every Christmas of my childhood. My sister leading me down the stairs. And then eventually, me leading her. When a certain gentleman arrived from Rome, she wore the dress and I stayed home. However, as we got older, the tapes became less of a vehicle for our parents to capture memories and more of an outlet for us to express some creativity on a hot summer afternoon. Creativity, it seems, that came in the form of a mockumentary about television. That can be a bad influence on children's lives. Question for you. Is TV good? Or is it bad? Is it still the funny comedies and education that it used to be? Or is all that being replaced by drugs, violence, and abuse and killings? Well, maybe this video will help you decide. It also came in the form of a fake breast enhancement commercial. And one pill a day, you can increase your breast line by 30% in just two weeks. That's right, just two weeks. And, get this, we'll send you a free padded bra if you call in the next 15 minutes. So, if you want this great deal now, call 1-800-BIGBOOB. That's 1-800-B-I-G-B-O-O-B. Thanks! As well as a ditzy weather girl. Where's the map? Oh, I don't know. And a self-centered anger woman. Your news at five. Sorry. The world? Why do we have to talk about that? I could care less. Well, you're getting paid to do that. All kinds of weather, we stick together. The same in the rain or sun. 
As we both grew up and left the house, video became a way for my sister and I to keep in touch with each other and stay in each other's lives even when we were over a thousand miles apart. We could see, we could motivate, encourage, and support one another despite the distance. And we could watch some really cute videos of our dogs. Hi, Laura. I know I promised you a video. This video is just for you. <sighs> no, no, it's not boring. I think the term short but sweet really defines this video. So I hope you like it. I also hope you got your play done. Those who seen us know that not a thing could come between us. us except I'm letting a note but come between us. Just <laughs> no. bear with us for a second. Let's go. <laughs> This is my video now. Making videos has become a hobby of mine, and a way of staying in touch with and entertaining many of my friends when we are far apart. This semester, a friend and I even created a channel on YouTube for the sole purpose of staying in touch while she traveled abroad in London. Many men have tried to split us okay. up, but no one can. No, they can't. Nope. Today, pulling out the video camera is just second nature to us. And though sometimes we still let our parents record, for the most part we're the directors of which memories are captured. Sit. Give me a paw. Thank you, sir. Everybody? Right, I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> Good job. Okay. I'm gonna check the black part right now. Oh, is this Larry? Okay, that's precise. <laughs> No. Oh. More than simply recording our memories so that we can look at them years from now, video has been a way that my sister and I have bonded and become closer as sisters. Video is really like our secret sibling. Lord, help the mister who comes between me and my sister. And Lord, help the sister who comes between me and my mess. That would never happen.